what they called obsessional evidence. Evidence that was later disputed in court and evidence that was kicked out of court, dismissed out of court. Three adults were convicted and they went to the Royal Courts of Justice in 1991 and likewise their cases were dismissed, they were acquitted, they were released and they were free. One of those three men, his name was Winston Silcock. Winston Silcock, we're being told, was the main culprit. He was the leader of a gang, and he was the baddest man who ever walked the planet, if you listen to what the British media was telling us about it. When they released Winston, when he was successful in his appeal, the state, the police, couldn't accept the decision of the judges. So they opened up a new review. The review took three years to complete. And on the day, literally, that Winston Silcock was released from Maystone Prison, having served 18 years in prison, they announced that they were going to start a new investigation. They told us that based on And this is 10 years of a full investigation with a full murder squad team totally dedicated to this case. 10 years later, we saw the arrest and charge of Nicholas Jacobs. Nicholas Jacobs has been in prison for the last year on remand, waiting for this case to come. We've all been waiting for this case to come. And some of us have been in the court and we've listened to the evidence. Some of us heard last week a witness who they call Rhodes Levy. This is a pseudonym that they've given him because they've given him anonymity. They've given him anonymity. They've given him immunity from prosecution. And we found out in this court they've given him £5,000. £5,000 to do what? There hasn't been a case. There hasn't been a conviction. How the hell are they handing out taxpayers' money as a reward for a case that hasn't happened? What we learned in this court last week was not just that they've given Rose Levy £5,000 reward for a case that hasn't taken place, but what we heard in this court last week was that when Rose Levy was originally arrested, when he was originally charged, with possession of explosive, with a frame, with burglary, and with GBH. Now remember, Nicky Jacobs had been charged with a frame, and he received an eight year sentence for a frame. Rose Levin was charged with a frame, he was charged with possession of explosives, i.e., a petrol bomb, he was charged with burglary and he was charged with GBH and at the point where he realised that his not guilty to plea was not going to work he sent for the Metropolitan Police Service when they arrived he said to them I will give you Winston Silcott if you give me a lighter sentence here's Winston Silcott he tried to give them Winston to him but obviously it didn't work but what he did was he got a higher sentence. Nicky Jacobs got 80 years on a train to the This person received a 12 month sentence for a frame, burglary, GBH, and possession of explosives. 12 month sentence. He then didn't engage with the police no more because the police had done what he wanted them to do for him. The police had played the game and got him a lesser sentence. So he didn't contact the police again until 1992. 1992 was the point that the top of three were released from prison. And when he contacted the police, he said to them, he wasn't 
happy that the Tottenham three were released from prison. So he told them they were going to help them. There's a reason he called for them in 1992, and that reason was he was back in prison again. He was serving another sentence. And he did a deal with them so they could get a lesser sentence. He did a deal with them so they could go from being a C-cap prisoner to being a D-cap prisoner. And he called them again in 1994. Again when he was under charges. And this time, he started to give them different names. So in this court last week, we heard the QC, Courtney Griffiths, name 13 people that this so-called witness had told them had been involved in Blaylock's murder, and now they were telling them that these 13 people had in fact not been the murderers of Blaylock. He had to tell them. Unlike the previous week. 